Hi, my name is Paul Massey. I'm the director of Regeneration's Botanical Garden, located here on the island of Kauai, and today we're standing at the Kalihiwai Food Forest, which is a project that our nonprofit partners with a couple other nonprofits to bring for the community in partnership with lots of great community stewards who come here and give volunteer work to establish and maintain a productive and diverse food system. And the food forest here was inspired by permaculture uh, as well as the food forests of the Pacific. And they have been planted ever since humans first settled in the Pacific Islands. And so we have sort of a m modern hybrid system where we're utilizing ancient techniques but also taking advantage of uh, plants that have only recently arrived to the islands combining them with plants that were introduced by the first settlers here in Hawaii almost 2,000 years ago. Um, so this community project is as much an experiment in how to maintain uh, food systems as it is figuring out how we can get a modern community of people to do something really ancient, which is to tend the land and care for it in a cooperative way. These shoots Mm -hmm. What you would do is you would dig up these guys yeah. and replant them and then you would get a whole new banana clump from it. So every one of these was just a single stalk when we planted them. Mm. Um, and they were, they were planted in really happy conditions. Uh, the guys made sure they gave them all the, the proper nutrition. Um, yeah, but like I was saying, every one of these is, is a different variety of banana. And uh, most of them are fruity now. So as you can see, like these guys right here, I don't know what these ones are, but I would, I would say they're probably a native Hawaiian banana because the native Hawaiian bananas are um, really big and they're kind of fibrous and less sweet. They're more like plantain than what we're used to. So uh, it's more like a big starchy, starchy banana that they would use to cook and eat and it would be like almost a complete meal for them. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, check out these guys. These guys are throwing and looking beautiful. Oh wow! So this um, collection of bananas will be used to um, to give back varieties to the island. So we could give these away during our seed exchanges, and we could sell them off, make a little bit of money for our nonprofit, and uh, help bring back diversity to the island. Right now, most people only have the apple bananas. <laughs> And, uh, and ice cream bananas, those are like number one and two. So yeah, we have um, 40 plus different varieties now. So this is our old planting and I'll show you the new planting that we just finished. And like I was saying, it got ripped up by, by pigs. So mm -hmm. all this was uprooted by pigs. And we got to uh, replant this whole ground section so we don't get taken over by weeds. What one was this called? I think that's a thousand fingers. Um, I'm not a banana expert, but I know that one's pretty distinct looking. These guys. So yeah, this is what a flower of the banana looks like before it, it goes. So every one of these little guys is a flower. And once the flower gets pollinated, it gets nice and fat and forms a banana. But this is the flower that covers it, so they'll slowly fall off like this. Mm -hmm. And then, um, look like that. Right now there's a lot of um, breeding programs with banana um, cultivators that are trying to breed them to, uh, to be resistant to different kind of viruses because right now we have massive monocultures of bananas in like Honduras and Ecuador and, and Costa Rica that once you produce these massive monocultures you're susceptible to pests and viruses and disease that much more. So that's what they're trying to produce for is like more resistant bananas. Um, but we really need to start going more towards diversity and more towards localization because this massive uh, food system it doesn't work on any scale or any kind of plant. Mm -hmm. So, um, so yeah, diversity is what we need to, 
to, to learn from and that's why we have so much diversity here so we get to relearn what we what we've lost and relearn what works and what doesn't work look at these guys beautiful how tall would you say these are those are like what 25 feet wow. i believe these are these are a hawaiian one my a l a l a yeah if i remember right my friend uh zach pulled this one from uh from inside like the mountains of Hawaii, he found this one on the, on the trail and brought it down. He's like a fruit, fruit hunter. And, wow. Uh, it was just a small little guy, but here with all the proper nutrition, just gigantic. And this is nine months. This is nine months. Wow. Yeah. So, yeah, it's nine months worth of growth, you know? <laughs> well, a lot of intention, a lot of people working together to be able to make this happen. So, planting we just recently finished. That one I was just showing you guys, uh, that was about nine months and this one is probably about a, a month old now so this is the extension of our banana our banana planting and we did it a little bit differently um, we did it on contour like on the gradient of the hillside so we had this um, a pretty much like a backhoe tractor claw come up so first thing we did was we tilled the whole side and then we um, we made these little cups here that are going to retain the water so as the water comes it's going to um, get stuck in these little basins and then we planted vetiver grass around the, the the rim of it so this grass will throw down really deep roots and help retain all the uh, the moisture and minerals that are coming downhill so and it'll also be a big chop and drop for our bananas so as these things turn into big hedges, we can go and chop the hedges and feed them right to the bananas. Oh, okay. So it's kind of like their own food system. Oh, hey, hey, dog! I've never seen him. This is what the cardboard looks like. <laughs> Before. Yeah. That's so crazy, this perspective to like see this and then that. Right? These ones are a little closer together. But yeah, isn't that cool though? It looks really good. And see with these ones, we, uh, you recorded stuff? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. With these ones, we did plant the uh, the sweet potato straight in whenever we planted the bananas. Um, so this will be covered by sweet potato pretty quickly. And we also put in um, Cuban oregano for a ground cover. Ooh. So we'll have um, a few different kinds of ground cover we could try and see what works well. See like this? This is Cuban oregano. Yeah. Yummy. So, you know. Oh. <clears throat> you can try it. Well. Ah, oh, it smells so good. So it'll also be nice whenever it gets filled up. Um, when you walk on it, it'll smell good. Yeah. So. Here you go. Rob is cutting down the stem of the banana that already fruited because stems will only make a, a rack one time. And if you just leave it standing, then the whole clump kind of slows down in terms of development. So in order to actually maintain the clump, you need to not only take out the stems that have fruited, but you also need to limit stems that are all kind of the same height because each one is trying to be the next one that's trying to fruit. Hmm. So if you have too many stems, then you don't get very much fruit development. So it's a, it's a plant that has co-evolved with humans for thousands of years, one of the first cultivated plants probably. And it's really, really used to us maintaining it for that optimal uh, development of, of fruit. This variety here is called Mysore. Okay. It's from India. Wow. And it's known for it. This is a song for the vagrants and corrupt. This is a song for the things that I've done. This is a song for the pain that I've felt. This is a song for the pain that I've dealt. This is a song for the darkness I see This is a song for the darkness in me This is a song for the lines that we draw This is a song for the lines that we cross One falls asleep in Palestine A victim to a gun crime One's cruising down a city street One falls asleep on concrete One's working in the oil mines One can't get to sleep at night Yes, some no real war where families are torn apart Don't be afraid, don't give up Don't lose hope, don't give up 
Don't be afraid, don't give up, don't give up I'm gonna be strong like Jah I'm gonna have a heart like a lion Like David and Goliath I'm gonna sing loud, I'm gonna stand tall In this world of war I can be your peaceful companion And we'll stand hand in hand And shine a light into the dark This is a song for the lonely and confused Getting their views from the evening news This is a song for the reds and the blues This is a song for political views This is a song for the darkness of our age This is a song for the turning of the page This is a song for the last so many chase Don't be blinded cause the truth is we're just one race One falls asleep in Israel ha, Victim to the fires of hell One's cruising down a city street one falls asleep on concrete Some things I'll never understand My big brother's in Afghanistan My son's no real war My families are torn apart Don't be afraid, don't give up Don't lose hope, don't give up Don't be afraid, don't give up Don't give up I'm gonna be strong like Jah I'm gonna have a heart like a lion Like David and Goliath